This is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and I'm just doing a morning walk, checking on trees and fruit and stuff, and um, this is our trail system, so you can't really see it, but it's like a deer trail. It's a... Uh, just walk through it. It's the hard ground. If you step off of it, it's fluffy and nice. Here's a little uh, Garcinia. I've gotten some fruit off this year and it had a, it flowered again and got another fruit, one fruit on it, one more fruit. Um, this tree is about five feet tall. This is that Garcinia species with the red flower I did a video of. Uh, it was flowering when six different Garcinias were flowering here. And I don't see any fruit on this particular tree. It's the only tree we have like this. Well, there is another seedling tree underneath, so I'm fairly certain it produced fruit and it looks like there's a sugar apple or an atamoya or something coming up right there. So maybe it's fruit from another tree, but I do see two little trees there, so um, who knows, but I can look at a tree and look at a tree and then look at a tree another day and see fruit on it, so um, I guess that's just part of the reason I continually have to walk around and look for fruit and check trees. We have planted 3,000 plus trees here. I think last year I planted 700 and some odd seeds and trees. So uh, I just keep throwing seeds at this property and um, I used to buy the seeds, but thankfully now I don't really have to do that anymore. People are all worried about uh, their plants, their rare plants, like this Luke's Garcinia, growing in the orchard floor. This is a multi-species orchard floor. It's covered in fungi different mushrooms and uh, at least 15 different types of nutrient fixing uh, legumes and I mean nitrogen fixing legumes and um, uh, more native species than all the rest of our property combined just growing in the orchard floor and we didn't have to plant this this is the stuff that comes up by itself And we like to plant our trees directly in the ground from seed, especially the garcinias. We did it with other rare fruits like the colac, Talisia floresii, and this is another one of our path systems through here. We have trail that goes from the front of the property to the back of the property. Here's another Luke's garcinia. I know these are Luke's Garcinias. There's no doubt in my mind. So they came directly from the source and we have about a hundred of them. And I don't worry about little trees. What I worry about is keeping plants alive in pots. So I have a phobia against uh, pots. I think it has to do with the microplastics produced by them. Um, so, I would never use like plastic shade cloth or anything like that. And um, this is a very harsh area. This is why the soil is so white, because this is mowed. That's what happens in Florida when you mow it. It doesn't protect the sand. 
So it compacts it and pushes all the organic matter out of it and down the drain it goes, evaporates eventually. But we do little tiny trees. And this is a little tiny citrus, uh, blood, I mean, a uh, key lime that, you know, we don't water our seed grown trees. You don't have to water seed grown trees here at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. That's the beauty of it. <coughs> Nature takes care of it. Excuse me. So in, in this, this mess, I planted a bunch of Adamoya and uh, different Garcinias, of course, and, but I'm seeing uh, the Adamoyas coming up right there. It looks very healthy. It looks like it's grown about two inches in a week. So the trees don't really seem to have a problem pushing out of the grass here at this location. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's how trees grow in the, in the wild. So <coughs> we just try to <coughs> let them do their own thing. God. <coughs> Some pollen in the air or something. Um, these uh, bananas are just like so healthy and uh, gonna be really big and you don't have to do anything you don't have to like cut the grass or put wood chips on them or anything like that you just kind of let the biology do it for you that's the beauty of natural farming it's hard for people to understand for some reason, or maybe they understand it, but they are afraid to let go of the control. Well, plants will smother something, but if you had tall grass, like the, this tall, or you had this in there, you know, this ginger, um, You would have to wipe out the tall grass, generally, people think. Here in Florida, this, what used to be a lawn, just kind of falls over once it gets two feet tall, like there. Which, if it's real thick, it could smother a tree, yes. But that's why you plant seeds. They're cheap, and you can plant a lot of them. The seeds that don't make it become uh, become nutrients to guarantee the success of the trees that do make it. So we have this small jackfruit tree. Uh, people seem interested in the size of our fruit trees that are fruiting. We've only been here five years and um, at this location, uh, we do have another spot we've been growing at continuously for 11 years now, soon. And, but this is five years and this is a grafted tree from Excalibur and I'm not sure which jackfruit it is, but it's not very big. I mean, that's it right there. Not even three fingers. Maybe a little, yeah, 
not even three fingers. So not very big at all, but it has fruit on it. And um, I'm excited to figure out which fruit this is. Uh, it will be our first fruit off this tree. This tree is only uh, seven feet tall and kind of spindly. Seems like when you give the manures and the compost that stuff flowers and produces more for us. <clears throat> the more manure or compost we can give to the orchard floor, the more fruit we're going to get. Anyway, this is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. Biological natural farming in Florida for the environment.